CBC was unremarkable. Abdominal CT scan didn't show anything. So, people, differential diagnosis. What's wrong with her? Him. Him, her. Does it matter? Does anyone think it's a testicular problem? No. So, Chase? Your sinia infection? No, you wouldn't get the rash or cough. What about arthritis? Accompanying vasculitis causes nerve damage. No, it wouldn't cause the blood pressure problems. Allergy? The kid's got abdominal pain. Maybe carcinoid? No, but then you wouldn't get the... Foreman, if you're gonna list all the things it's not, it might be quicker to do it alphabetically. Let's see now. Absidia. Excellent. It doesn't account for any of the symptoms. No condition accounts for all these symptoms. Oh, good. Because I thought maybe he was sick. But apparently he's not. Who wants to do up the discharge papers? <sighs> okay. Unless we control the blood pressure, he's gonna start circling the drain before we can figure out what's wrong with him. Treat him for sepsis, broad spectrum antibiotics, and I want a quartz stim test and an echocardiogram. <coughs> 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 Of course, them tests will tell us if your pituitary and adrenal glands are working properly. With glands, what does that mean? We have a few theories we're working on. You mean you don't know? Mindy. I'm just saying if they knew, they wouldn't be testing you. They'd be treating you. Yeah, well, that's the way it works. First you find out what it is, then we get you better. Before this happened, we were having sex. What, you... You're wondering if whatever he has, you might have gotten it? it? It's unlikely, and we ran a complete SCD panel, so... No, I'm wondering if maybe I did this to him. I was kind of rough. She thinks she rode him to death. <laughs> What'd you tell her? I told her 22-year-old men don't die of sex. What'd you ask her? What do you mean? I mean, I hope you got some specifics on exactly what was going on. The girl thinks it could kill you. It's worth knowing about. Have you ever taken a life? We should stop the antibiotics. It's too soon to say they're not having an effect. They're having an effect. His BP's falling fast. There's fluid filling his lungs. Creatinine is rising. His kidneys are shutting down. Our treatment isn't making him better. It's killing him. Cardiac infection. Cameron, you thought allergy? Chase, what was it? You thought carcinoid? And then there's hypothyroidism. Could be parasites. Finally, sinus infection. If you're going to list all the things it can't be, you're going to need more colors. Cameron was right. No condition explains all these symptoms. But orange and green covers everything. Orange and green? Two conditions contracted simultaneously? Occam's razor. The simplest explanation is always the best. And you think one is simpler than two? Pretty sure it is, yeah. Baby shows up. Chase tells you that two people exchanged fluids to create this being. I tell you that one stork dropped the little tyke off in a diaper. You're gonna go with the two or the one? I think your argument is specious. I think your tie is ugly. Why is one simpler than two? It's lower, lonelier. Is it simpler? Each one of these conditions is about a thousand to one shot. That means that any two of them happening at the same time is a million to one shot. Chase says the cardiac infection is a 10 million to one shot, which makes my idea 10 times better than yours. Get a calculator, run the numbers. We'll run the tests. Tests take time, treatment's quicker. Start the kit on unison for the sinus infection and... What was orange? What'd you find out? Kidney failure. It's acute interstitial nephritis. I wonder if that's significant. It means the antibiotics didn't cause the kidney failure. How'd you know? Well, if you guys hadn't been so busy trying to prove me wrong, you might have checked in on the poor kid. You visited a patient? I was sitting by his bed all morning, just so he'd know someone was there for him. I looked in on him. He's much better. Ergo, the treatment's working. Ergo, me right, you wrong. Hey, I'm glad for the kid. 
That smugness of yours really is an attractive quality. Thank you. It was either that or get my hair highlighted. Smugness is easier to maintain. White cell count is not, is it? No. We were both wrong. White cell count is down, way down and dropping. His immune system is shot. We need to get him into a clean room. Something's made him immunocompromised. His white blood cell count is down, which means his body can't fight off infections. If he gets sick, he'll die. Sick? How sick? If he gets a cold, he'll die. He's resting. He's... I'm Dr. House. I'm your son's physician. Oh. You're the one we haven't met yet. You're the one he hasn't met. How can you treat someone without meeting him? It's easy if you don't give a crap about him. That's a good thing. If emotions made you act rationally, well, they wouldn't be called emotions, right? That's why we have this nice division of labor. You hold his hand, I get him better. If I start tucking him in at night, well, that's not fair to you guys. And if you start prescribing medicine, well, that's not fair to me. So what I want to know is, who stepped on my side of the net? Who cared enough to get stupid enough to give him his cough medicine? When we checked in, Dr. Foreman told Tuesday, us he's getting better. Wednesday, he's getting sick again. Somebody gave him his cough medicine Wednesday. Come on, nobody's gonna be mad. I just wanna know who tried to kill the kid. Dr. House, maybe we should read His throat was sore. Page Dr. Ockham. He's gonna to wanna to hear about this. I'm sorry. He was coughing and I just wanted to help I wish you would, dear. Where are the pills? He took the last of them before he was switched into that room. They're all gone? It was just cough medicine. No, it wasn't. Where's the bottle? We need to know exactly what you put in this bottle. We think it was colchicine, a gout medication. If the prescription said cough medicine, that's what I dispensed. The family is prepared to waive liability, all right? We just need to know what it was, it, what dosage it, it was. It was cough medicine. Refill it. Hi again. Where's he going? Hey. How y'all doing? Interesting fact, every seven years, it's a whole new you. Inspiring metaphor, huh? Dr. House, this is a clean room. Yeah, I read the sign. But cells of different organs reproduce at different rates. So, you get a new kidney every three years, you get a new stomach lining every week. This is why colchicine poisoning causes all these symptoms, but not all at once. So we went to the pharmacy. We saw the pills. Colchicine does its damage in a very specific order. First of all, there's the pain in the abdomen, the rash, the fever. Isn't that what you got first? Then the kidneys go, which is exactly what happened to... Brandon. Right. And it screws up your bone marrow, and then... Neuropathy, painful tingling in the fingers and toes. Well, what do you suppose happens after that? <sighs> Hair loss. The bad news is, your special boy is doing drugs. No, he's not. Ecstasy? No. Toys with Dan and Mike. You know what they cut that stuff with? Apparently, colchicine. Unless you ingested the colchicine through your contact lens solution or skin cream or some other drug you're lying about. I don't know how it happened. I don't care how it happened. It happened. Start, um... Brandon. Lovely. Start Brandon on fab fragments and get him some Tylenol for the hair I pulled out. And get some air in here. Make a note. I should never doubt myself. I think he'll remember. You know, it wouldn't hurt you to be wrong every now and then. What, you don't care about these people? 